Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be finishing up some of these Style 19 wheels, you know, refinishing them, painting them, and getting the uh, lips cleared up. So, I've already done a few of them. We're just going to do one more wheel to complete the set of four. I have three of them finished, but I do need to go over those. I didn't go over them too well, or there's some touch-ups that need to be done. So, let's go ahead and get to that. So now I went to go pick up these wheels a while ago. Got a set of five uh, for, I want to say about 150 bucks. That's because two of them were bent and couldn't do anything with them. Tried to get them straightened. Um, they said wouldn't be possible. So I bought a style five off of, I believe Panjo. Bought a style five off of Panjo. Took the lip off, fits perfectly with the style 19 back here. And now we have a set of four full lips. There are three of the face plates painted. Got one lip finished over here, another lip right here is pretty close to being finished. But we still need to finish up two lips and paint one face plate. So that's what we'll be doing today. Alright, so the only issue we're gonna have with these wheels is that. They are 17 by 8. Now the typical tire size you'd put on a 17 by 8 would probably be 225 or 245 even. I do have a set of 245. The problem being that if I put a set of 245s on here, they'll poke out to about right there. Like there will be a solid half to three quarter inch poke out of each wheel, out of each fender. Now my other option is I can try and fit these 245s on here, my RE71Rs, see if they'll fit with a little bit of a stretch and try to autocross on that. I'm really trying not to stretch these and they're already a little bit stretched on these, I believe these are seven and a half inch wheels. So we'll have to see how that goes. If I can have a tiny bit more stretch than this and still autocross it safely, I will do that because I feel like the fitment is going to be a lot better than the 245s which are going to poke out to here. So we'll have to figure that out. Have one of my friends at a tire shop kind of work with me on that and see what we can possibly do. But without further ado, let's get working on these. close down there those nuts right there are not your average nut they're like a 12 point or something something a little weird now the best thing to do is go to Harbor Freight get up a set of these they're kind of splined on the inside I guess you could say about seven bucks 10 12 millimeter it'll get the job done so here we go here make sure that these are hand tight so you can just take them off like that but then thread them back on maybe two threads maybe? I don't know about that enough to where you can just take it right off after we hammer them through so next we're gonna get a small punch punch these through with a hammer and that'll be all these is about 34 so this is another long painful process Thank you. 
know why this is so difficult. The other three were not nearly as bad, so, uh, I guess I'll get back to y'all when I figure something out. As you can see, I finally got the faceplate out. I had to use this massive monkey wrench. But, that's probably all we're going to have time for today, so, that's how you take apart a two-piece wheel. Um, one, two. So, see you in the next one. So, definitely a shorter video today, I do apologize, but uh, just to kind of sum up what we did. Pretty much took off all, I believe there's 34 little nuts on the back of the, uh, back of the wheel. Hammer them through with a little punch and a hammer. Make sure you put them all in a big bucket because the end of this whole process, we're going to soak all the nuts and bolts in vinegar to get all the corrosion off. Uh, we then separated the plate, face plate and the lip, or the barrel, I guess you could say. And that's pretty much it. I'd like to have the whole day just kind of work on this paint. And it's already 5.30, so we're definitely not going to have time to do that today. So that's why it's so short, just kind of ran out of daylight process took a lot longer than the video kind of showed. Thanks for watching and uh, come back if you'd like to see the painting process and the finished production of this whole wheel assembly process. It's definitely time consuming. So thanks for watching and I'll see you the next time.